Guess who's back? Back again. In case you are wondering where did I go, well, here I am. I've been awfully busy working on this algorithmic trading tool for the past two years and it's pretty much eaten up all of my time. I'm super excited to say that the project, Aesir, has been released last week. It marks our official release on 12th of May. We took this project from the very beginning all the way to an official release. It all started in March 2021, where if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll see that I was working on this tool called the Binance Volatility Bot. Now, what a Binance Volatility Bot is supposed to do is allows you to look at volatile assets on Binance and then place a trade according to how volatile an asset is. For instance, it would allow you to buy coins that gained more than, say, 3% in the last five minutes. But the cool thing about it is that it allows you to trade any of the assets on Binance. It wouldn't just scan one or two, it would scan all of them at the same time and just look for the most volatile ones. Now, that idea got a little bit of momentum and people started making GitHub pull requests, people started playing around with it, and a lot of people also struggled to run it because you would need a bit of technical knowledge. You'd need, how, you'd need to know how to run a Python script. You'd also need to know how to install dependencies, configure YAML files, uh, nothing overly complex, but for someone without understanding of programming languages, it's not something that you could easily put together and then run. So that was the initial idea for Aesir. Let's make a UI for this tool that everyone can use. Right, well, it's safe to say that at the time we had absolutely no idea how big of a challenge that would be. Um, we kept adding features on top of one another and Aesir became its own cryptocurrency trading platform. It became its own thing. Back when I was still working on this tool and I posted it on Reddit for the first time on the cryptocurrency subreddit and a few of the people that were excited about it were also creating pull requests on GitHub. And that's how the original team met. We've all met through the Binance volatility thread that I posted on Reddit two years ago. We started talking and we thought, hey, we can really build something special here. Imagination. One of the challenges of working with a remote team is that you actually don't really see the people and you don't really know if you can trust the people. Like, how am I gonna know that um, these people are trustworthy enough to establish a company with. I'm happy to say that we're all good. No one ran away with the money. Now the trust barrier out of the way comes the complexity of the tool itself. How did we actually do it? How did we actually build this thing? Well, there's two, I'd like to split the complexity into two parts. I like to talk about it in terms of functionality and infrastructure. Functionality is what makes the tool do the things it does. And we took the original Binance Volatility Bot and then we've added more features on top of that. Yes, you can still check by price change uh, in a certain amount of time, but we've also added a trading view module. We've also added a technical analysis module. We've also added a DCA module as well. And we've made it so that you can actually stack these on top of each other. So you can add a volatility layer along with a technical analysis layer. So let's say you want to make your trading bot a little bit more complex. You still want to trade based on volatile assets, but you want to confirm the signal using another indicator. So you can add a technical indicator, any kind of technical indicator. You can add the RSI, MACD, all of that to the volatility configuration in order to make sure that it picks the assets that you're looking for. We've also added TradingView support. If you don't know what TradingView is, TradingView is a platform that aggregates different markets together and allows you to use technical analysis tools in order to make more informed decisions on trading. The cool thing about TradingView is that you don't actually need to configure your indicators in order to determine whether this asset is good to buy or not. TradingView has this cool computed future where you can actually just pick an indicator and TradingView will tell you the sentiment that the signal of this indicator is buy, neutral or sell. And that's exactly what we've added into AC. We've made it so that you can choose any number of TradingView indicators and ask 
ACR to tell you how many of them send a buy signal. So let's say you pick the MACD, you pick the RSI, you pick the EMA5 and EMA10, and you can combine this with volatility or you can combine this with a traditional technical analysis. We've also added a social hub, which is a place where people can view other people's configurations. You can also choose to make your configuration public or not. And if it's public, other people can clone it or they can view exactly what your configuration is and then they build it themselves. There's a lot of functionality there and it took us a good amount of time to be in a place where that's stable. That's why we had pretty much three soft releases. We've had a closed beta where we picked a number of users to participate in the beta to actively help make the product better and find bugs and glitches. We had an open beta where we allowed kind of everyone to join, but with limited functionality. For instance, we didn't allow live trading. And obviously the final release, which just happened last week. When it comes to infrastructure, you also got to bear in mind that this is no longer a tool that you can just run locally on your machine, like Python script is a software as a service that needs to be able to scale efficiently. That also took time to figure out. Uh, but we're in a place right now where infrastructure is in a good place, functionality is in a good place. And I'm also really excited to be back and I'm hoping to be able to make videos more regularly. I'm really keen to keep exploring cryptocurrency trading, but also cryptocurrency tech, Web3, AI and tech in general. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you've made it to the end of the video, I congratulate you and I invite you to subscribe for more content and to check the links down below. It's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of work and I'm really curious to see what all of you think about it.